Did you know that the F-22 Raptor, a product of Cold War urgency and decades of military history, is still America's deadliest fighter jet? Discover how this incredible war machine, influenced by the technology of World War II, stands above all others. The Lockheed Martin Boeing F-22 Raptor is one of the United States Air Force's most advanced fighter jets, known for its versatility and stealth. This aircraft was born from the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF, program launched in the 1980s to create a powerful air superiority fighter, capable of handling both air-to-air -air missions and other tasks like ground attacks and electronic warfare. Lockheed Martin took on the main responsibility for building the F-22's airframe and systems, while Boeing contributed by developing critical components such as the wings and avionics. The journey of the F-22 began with its first flight in 1997, and it officially entered service in December 2005 as the F-22A. Initially, the United States Air Force USAF, planned to purchase 750 of these fighters to replace the older F-15 Eagles. However, budget concerns, political challenges, and the development of the more economical F-35 reduced that number to 195 aircraft, 187 of which became operational. The last delivery was made in 2012. Even with fewer planes, the F-22 remains a cornerstone of the USAF's air-dominant strategy, designed to handle the toughest challenges in aerial combat. While it faced a long and challenging development, with some initial hiccups along the way, the F-22 has grown to be the USAF's premier choice for missions requiring air superiority. This fighter jet has also proven its capabilities in the Middle East, performing strikes and electronic surveillance against adversaries like the Islamic State. Despite being primarily designed for air-to-air -air superiority, the F-22 has been adapted for a variety of missions, showcasing its flexibility and resilience. The USAF expects the F-22 to remain a key player until its eventual replacement, which will come in the form of a new generation of fighters under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGIT program. The story of the F-22 starts in the 1980s when the USAF foresaw that emerging technologies and threats from the Soviet Union could potentially outclass their current fleet of F-15 and F-16 fighters. This led to the birth of the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program. Initially named Senior Sky, the ATF aimed to develop a fighter that could dominate the skies even in a high-threat environment like a potential conflict with the Soviet Union. The design had to integrate groundbreaking technologies, composite materials, advanced avionics and stealth capabilities to achieve high performance and survivability. Lockheed and Northrop were selected to compete in building the new fighter. Lockheed partnered with Boeing and General Dynamics, while Northrop joined forces with McDonnell Douglas. Each team produced prototype aircraft, the YF-22 and YF-23, respectively. While both aircraft met or exceeded the Air Force's requirements, the YF-22, with its agility and design adaptability, won the competition in 1991. Pratt & Whitney also emerged as the engine provider, ensuring the power and reliability needed for the F-22's supercruise capability, the ability to fly at supersonic speeds without afterburners, a critical feature for modern air combat. The design of the F-22 evolved significantly during its development. The initial prototypes were modified to reduce weight and improve aerodynamic efficiency, leading to changes in wing design, airframe structure, and internal systems. By 1997, the first full-scale F-22 prototype took to the skies, marking a major milestone for the program. The aircraft incorporated an integrated avionics system that fused data from multiple onboard sensors giving pilots unparalleled situational awareness, a game-changing feature in modern warfare. Despite its impressive capabilities, the F-22 program faced numerous challenges. The end of the Cold War meant that funding priorities shifted, leading to delays and cuts in the planned number of aircraft. The development costs also skyrocketed due to the complexity of the new technologies being integrated into the F-22, such as stealth coatings and advanced radar systems. By 2009, the U.S. government decided to end production after delivering just 195 aircraft, a fraction of the original goal. 
the F-22's sophisticated stealth technology makes it nearly invisible to enemy radar, a feature crucial for modern air combat. Its shape, coatings, and internal weapons bays all contribute to a low radar cross-section, allowing it to approach and engage enemy targets with minimal detection. The jet is powered by two Pratt & Whitney F-119 engines, which provide thrust vectoring, giving the aircraft exceptional maneuverability that enables it to perform complex aerial maneuvers, outclassing any potential adversary in a dogfight. The F-22's avionics and weapon systems are also top-notch. Its ANAPG-77 radar can detect threats from long distances, while the integrated electronic warfare systems provide defensive and offensive capabilities to jam or evade enemy radar. The F-22 can carry a combination of N-20 AMRAAM and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles for air-to-air -air combat, as well as precision-guided bombs for ground attack missions. The internal weapon bays ensure that the aircraft maintains its stealth profile while carrying out these missions. In combat, the F-22 has demonstrated its capabilities effectively. Since entering service, it has been deployed for various operations, including homeland defense missions and international deployments to deter adversaries like Russia and China. The F-22's first combat mission came in 2014, when it took part in airstrikes against the Islamic State in Syria. The aircraft was used to strike high-value targets and support coalition forces, showcasing its versatility beyond just air-to-air -air combat. However, the journey of the F-22 has not been without setbacks. The aircraft faced issues with its oxygen system, which led to hypoxia-like symptoms in pilots and even a fatal crash in 2010. These issues resulted in the grounding of the fleet and modifications to the life support systems, including the addition of an automatic backup oxygen system. Despite these challenges, the F-22 has continued to evolve, receiving upgrades to its avionics, sensors, and weapons systems to keep it at the forefront of air combat capabilities. The production of the F-22 officially ended in 2011, with the last aircraft delivered in 2012. Despite this, the F-22 remains a critical part of the USAF's arsenal. Its unmatched combination of speed, stealth, and agility makes it a formidable opponent in any potential conflict involving advanced adversaries. The F-22 has also played a key role in developing tactics and technologies that will be used in future fighters, including the NGAD program, which aims to replace the F-22 in the coming decades. The F-22's legacy extends beyond its combat capabilities. It set new standards for fighter aircraft design and influenced the development of future platforms, such as the F-35, although it was never exported due to concerns over preserving its technological secrets. The F-22's innovations have shaped the way modern air combat is approached by the U.S. and its allies. The aircraft's unique features, like supercruise, advanced avionics, and superior maneuverability, have made it an icon of American air power. One of the more ambitious proposals for the F-22 was the FB-22, a bomber variant designed to extend the aircraft's range and payload capabilities. Though this concept was never realized, it showed the potential versatility of the F-22's platform. Similarly, other variants and proposed upgrades aim to enhance the aircraft's role, but budget constraints and shifting defense priorities ultimately limited the scope of these projects. The future of the F-22 lies in its ongoing upgrades and its role in paving the way for next-generation fighters. The USAF has continuously worked on improving the F-22's sensors, communication systems, and weapons integration to ensure it remains relevant in an ever-changing threat environment. These enhancements are designed to keep the F-22 capable of countering emerging threats until the NGAD fighter is ready to take over its role. In conclusion, the F-22 Raptor is more than just a fighter jet. It's a symbol of technological advancement and air superiority. Despite the challenges it faced during development and service, the F-22 has proven itself to be an indispensable asset to the United States Air Force. Its combination of stealth, speed, and advanced avionics makes it a versatile and formidable tool in maintaining air dominance. As it continues to receive upgrades and serve alongside newer platforms like the F-35, the F-22 will remain a key player in the U.S. military strategy for years to come, 
ensuring that the skies are secure from any potential threats.